Hey, good morning, folks. This is M Live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torgro. So let's try this again. I just rebooted my computer and shut down everything, and we'll see if she works. So we've got a lot of weather to talk about. We're going to give you a detailed snow forecast. I'm going to attempt to. If this doesn't work, then I'm going to actually go to the old handheld way because we know that does work. Um, detailed snow forecast. We'll look at a stormy pattern developing that I've been talking about here uh, yesterday and colder air coming in. And then my mind starts to think, well, in meteorology, we know what's going to happen 10 days out now. Let's look at what the duration of this cold spell coming. And you might be interested in this as the European model that goes way out in the future shows this might not have a lot of duration. So let's get to it. Here's our radar, and uh, we do have some light snow across the northern half of lower Michigan and across the UP, but you see the storm down in the southwest, Oklahoma, Texas, moving northeast into Arkansas. That's the storm system that will be heading our way. Um, hey, we're really low today on numbers, so hit the share button. I don't know exactly what's going on. There must be some problems with Facebook or somebody must have a problem. Uh, so what you're seeing here, let me move it just a little bit for you. Uh, this is where the winter storm watches, winter storm warnings, and winter weather advisories are in effect. So the Detroit area and Monroe is still under a winter storm watch. They'll probably wait until 11 in the morning. And if nothing's changed with the morning runs, then they'll change that to probably possibly a winter storm morning or possibly a winter weather advisory. Difference would be six inches or more would be a winter storm warning criteria. And that's what the pink is there. I believe that is, uh, oh boy, that's Hillsdale County, I do believe. Um, and then west of that, winter weather advisories along the border there. So let's look at the radar forecast. Starting to get some numbers built. Hey, go ahead and hit the share button so everybody knows about this. I think uh, maybe Facebook is having a little bit of an issue this morning. So we go through the day today, and it's generally dry, aside from some light snow up north. Good morning, Billy and Sarah Ball. Um, and then this is tonight. And then we go to tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. So the snow will be starting in the southern part of the state, 6, 7, 8 a.m. By, by 8 a.m., it's into Detroit. It's maybe starting in Saginaw. It's uh, probably starting in the Grand Rapids area. It's snowing in Kalamazoo. And then we go to noon tomorrow. And the snow has spread north to maybe light snow to Alpena and to Ludington. It's overspread Saginaw and Flint and the Thumb and Lansing and Grand Rapids, rest of the southern part of the state. We go through tomorrow afternoon, and it's a snowy afternoon, light to moderate, steady. Hey, good morning, J.J. Johnson from Essexville. That's next to, uh, that's the Bay City area, for those of you that don't know. Um, now we're at uh, Wednesday night at 10. And the snow's starting to break down already and off to the east. I looked and I'd call it a, about a 12-hour snow in any one place. And then by 2 in the morning, 3, 4, Thursday morning, 5, 6, Thursday morning, the snow is essentially over. There is a patch of snow, light 1 to 2 inch snows coming through Chicago into northern Indiana. So if you're going that way on Thursday morning, you probably have... Uh, snowy, treacherous uh, stuff. Paula St. Clair, good morning, Reese and the Reese Rockets. Um, and then by noon on Thursday, sliding to our south. So if you are driving south tomorrow and Thursday, you may want to think about it if you don't have to go. Now, here are the snowfall totals off the North American model. This is what I like. This is the model I like for this. This is by 10 a.m., on Wednesday, you see several inches already to our south. And then we go into, no, let's go to 6 o'clock 
Wednesday, 6 p.m. Sarah Maltman, morning. Um, 6 p.m. Wednesday. So you're at uh, five or six inches right along the border. Uh, and through the afternoon, we pick up uh, three or four inches. Grand Rapids, Saginaw, Bay City, the Thumb, southward into Ann Arbor and Detroit. Um, snowfall total by the time it's done, five or six in the southern, you know, basically take I-94 as the five inch line mostly and southward five to six. So Ann Arbor, you're about five. Detroit, you're about five. Flint, I would say four. Oakland County, I'd say four inches. Lansing, Kalamazoo, four inches. Uh, Grand Rapids, three inches. Saginaw Bay City's been holding pretty steady at four inches. Maybe it'll be three there. And then tapering off, Mount Pleasant, two to three, and you get to Cadillac and Traverse City, and you're at one or two inches of snow. All right, so that's storm system, what I'm calling storm system number one. And then we have several lined up. So we're going into a stormy pattern. Doesn't mean we're going to get hit by every one of these snowstorms. What typically happens is the cold air nudges in, and some of them miss us to the south. Pamela Todorov, question. In January, did we get the same amount of precipitation rain as we might have had had it been snow? Um, I don't think so. I'll have to look that up for you, but it felt it felt pretty quiet storm-wise, so I don't think it was in the form of rain, although we did have some rains too. And it's easier to get precipitation amounts in rain than it is in snow. So here's our European model showing the first storm system. And then the next one comes in on Friday, and that comes in out of the northwest. That's a different type of snow. It's, I guess you'd essentially call it an Alberta clipper, but the main storm center stays to our north in southern Canada. So the main shield, solid shield of snow, will stay to our north. But a wind-driven cold front will come through with spurts of snow, uh, a, a blowy type snow, and then off to the east quickly. Now, the cold air tries to come in but it's kind of stopped by the next storm system. This is already by Saturday night, Sunday. We're back into snow in the southern half of lower Michigan. And then we go into Tuesday, another snow, and we go toward the end of this model run, 10 days out, Thursday and Friday, and we're looking at snow again. So, yes. We are having snow. By the way, if you hear my wife in the backdrop, she's she's giving Bagel a bath. Um, and he's giving her fits in the tub. All right. So high temperatures today, upper 30s, southern lower Michigan, then the low 30s tomorrow. And you'll see this gradual ten trend downward, upper 20s for highs on Thursday. Uh, low 30s on Friday, Saturday, highs in the 20s, Sunday, highs in the 20s, Monday, highs in the teens. So the cold air is going to be moving in, highs in the teens on Tuesday, Wednesday in the 20s, Thursday in the teens. So I think you better get ready for some cold as we hope head into next week and probably for the next 10 days to two weeks it's going to be winter but then my mind wants to say hey what happens after that do we have the technology um we do i have a friend that um works for the energy companies and he's really developed some good uh extended forecast techniques that be better best the just the raw model output but we'll start with the raw model output from the european for the 46 day forecast and look what happens it says the duration of this cold is only into about mid-february which tells me that i'd say we've had one week of winter so far we're going to have two maybe three weeks coming up probably two we'd call it maybe three we might get with get away with uh, harsh winter weather for about a total of four weeks this winter. So let's 
go to that. And this is something I'll be watching. So again, this is the European forecast surface temperature anomaly. As we go into early February, February 4th, we're colder than normal and 5th and 7th and 8th, we're colder than normal and 9th and 10th, we're colder than normal. 11th, look at February 13th, starts to bring back warmer than normal conditions and slides the cold back to the west where it has been all winter. February 15th, February 18th, keeps continues to build the warmth. February 22nd, what would that be? That's saying about five degrees warmer than normal. So it's not warm, but it's not harsh cold. This is the end of February, February 25th, February 28th, uh, March 3rd and March 4th, and March 7th, and ending at March 8th. So this will be the next thing, you know, meteorology is getting very, very exact, I would say. So we, I think we got the snowstorm handled within an inch or two. There could be a little mesoscale band 10, 10 miles wide. You might get a couple of more inches than what's expected, but it's hard to pinpoint that. And if I start mentioning seven and eight inches, everybody will run with it. And then when you wind up with five, it's off. So I'd plan on five in the south, four from Flint to Lansing to Saginaw of the Thumb, three in Grand Rapids, uh, two or less um, to the north of that. Eric here. So what are the normal highs and lows this time of the year? Let's go see if we can find that for you. Bear with me just a second. Uh, let's see. I know we have it on here somewhere. That is a good question. Oh, uh, let's see. Here we go. We'll go back to the maps. Uh, so Eric is asking, Eric Harrison is asking what the average high temperature is right now. And so let me find it. All right, we're at, we're at January 24th. These are the average high, no, I'm sorry, keeps jumping back to October on me. All right, January 24th. So your average high temperature, 31 in Detroit, 30 Ann Arbor, 30 Kalamazoo, 29 Grand Rapids, Flint, Saginaw, the Thumb, uh, 25 Cadillac, 27 Traverse City. This leads to a good point. So here's the 24th, here's the 25th. Notice that now with the warmer atmosphere, we start to go up on our average high temperature by the last days of January, just because there's a little bit more heating power. And look at February, we'll go into February. Uh, early February, average high 31 in Flint, 33 in Detroit, 30 in Saginaw. And you go to the end of February, and uh, you're looking at highs coming up, average highs coming up about five degrees, mid thirties by the end of February. So, you know, I, I can kind of almost get you through winter. If I show you, we've got a couple of harsh uh, weeks of winter weather. There could be two or three, three to six inch snowstorms in there, especially for the Southern half of the state. Um, and, then, you know, mid-February, it could turn around. And by the time we get to March, we know all know that March can be one of the nastiest months in Michigan because it can be rain and snow and sleet and freezing rain, and it can be warm one day, a little tweet, a little tease, and then a then a wind, and then the cold. It's just eh. Um, but if you get some sunshine in March, it's got a little power and you pop up to 35 or 40 degrees. So I dare say it, but the clock is almost ticking on winter as we see it. And it's January 24th. Um, it's going to be winter for a couple of weeks, but then we'll see what happens after that. Hey, thanks for joining me on this in-depth look at the weather. I'll have more for you on any updates on MLive.com. Please share those posts if you can, or share the Facebook post. I'd appreciate it very much. 
I'm MLive Chief Meteorologist, Mark Torregrossa. Thanks for joining me.